it's nice to know how to manually perform SQL injection attacks, but a great tool exists that can quickly do the majority of the work for you once you know that a form is injectable, and that tool is called SQL Map. SQL Map is an automatic SQL injection tool that can find and exploit SQL vulnerabilities just by giving it a web request. Since our example here makes a GET request to query the SQL database, the easiest way to get our web request to put into SQL Map is by copying the curl format of the web request after submitting something. So to do this, we're first going to want to make a request on the page that interacts with the SQL database, so we can just enter 1 into the user ID input form and hit submit. Once we've done that, we could then get the curl format of this request by right-clicking anywhere on the web page and clicking inspect. Next, we're going to go to the network tab and refresh the page by doing a control R. Once that is done, we see our get request at the top and we can right-click that, hover over copy value and click copy as curl. Now that we have our curl formatted request, we can move on to our terminal and paste the curl request into the terminal. After pasting the curl command, we're going to replace the word curl with SQL map at the beginning of the command. This is going to be the baseline of our SQL map command, and now we can add on flags to the end of the command to enumerate any of the databases on the server. To get the current database being used by the application, we can add on the dash dash current dash db to the end of our command. After hitting enter, we see that the current database being used is dvwa. If you hit the up arrow in your terminal, we can access the last command that we ran, and now we're going to replace the current db flag that we just added with dash dash tables space dash capital D dvwa to list all of the tables of the dvwa database. So the command will look like this, and then after hitting enter, we see that the two tables are guestbook and users. To dump all of the users table, we can add on the flags dash dash dump dash capital T users dash capital D dvwa. SQL map is going to ask if you want to store the hashes or try to crack them with a dictionary attack. For now, we'll type capital N for no. Once we've done that, we see that we've dumped all of the users and their hash passwords from the DVWA database. 